The 23rd of November 2004 marked a milestone in MMO and gaming history, the release of World of Warcraft. World of Warcraft went through a lot of expansions over the last 15 years and people were craving for the old school gameplay experience that they had in 2004. And now, 15 years down the line, we are back to where it all started. Let's have a look at WoW Classic in 2019. Hey there, it's Gio, and in this video I want to have a look at World of Warcraft Classic. I'd like to give my first impressions and answer common questions like, is this game casual friendly? Before we start, don't forget to subscribe, give this video a like, and share this video with your guildies to support my channel and my content. Alright, let's dig into the video. I have to say that I wasn't around when WoW Classic first released. I was about 11 or 12 years old when it first released, and I was basically caught up playing RuneScape. However, I did play World of Warcraft a few years later when the Wrath of the Lich King was released. The game was really fun, but the subscription fee was about the wage I got while I was working at the local grocery store. Anyway, enough of that, we are here for WoW Classic. The day before release, the Battle.net store was already down and I could not renew my World of Warcraft subscription. Also, when I tried to log in at first, I was in a queue for one and a half hour. Although it was annoying, it got me quite excited for what was going on in the game. When I finally got in, I decided to make a Tauren Druid to level with. You can find the first two hours of gameplay on my livestream VOD. I want to talk about my experience with quests first. What I quickly discovered is that the game is much lower than the retail version of World of Warcraft. Over the last three years, I played World of Warcraft on and off, and you could quickly get from point A to point B in a matter of minutes. However, in WoW Classic, you don't have the fancy heirloom mounts from the start, your mana runs out quickly, you take a lot of damage, and you find yourself auto-attacking a couple times. What I noticed at first was that the quest text doesn't immediately display but gradually appears. Although it takes a little more time to accept and start a quest, it gives some nice extra context about the quest and why you are doing specific actions to complete that quest. Nowadays, I feel everyone is just rushing to accept and complete quests for the reward. I'm actually quite certain that there are add-ons available that allow you to instantly accept a quest. I think the add-on is called Questy and you can use it in WoW Classic if you prefer. However, I doubt that I'm going to use any of these add-ons. I enjoy reading the quest text. You learn a little more about the quest itself, the characters and the overarching story of the zone and the game. As you start questing, I would highly advise you to play with a friend or group up with a stranger. This makes kill quests more enjoyable. You get it done faster and it gives you a higher chance to survive if you are not familiar with your class and the classic version of the game. Quests where you have to collect items from mobs might take a bit longer to complete, but overall I do not think this will significantly increase the time you will spend on a quest if you are in a group. If you are doing a quest where you have to collect items from mobs, you will have to split the loot from the mobs with your party members. So if a party member of your groups gets one of the items you need for a quest, for example one of the 12 boar tasks, then you will get the subsequent board task. This keeps on going until you both complete the quest. Next up, I briefly want to talk about combat and skills. The combat is a lot slower. It's also a bit clunkier, but it was overall more engaging. I actually had to do some effort to kill certain mobs and had to manage my health and mana, even at the simplest of mobs. Also, you start with just a few skills, usually two or three, which depend on your class. In the retail version, you can just spam these skills. Your mana won't run out anyway. In WoW Classic, you can only use a certain skill two or three times before you run out of mana. Therefore, it is wise to save some mana for a heal or a spell to quickly finish an enemy when you are in a dire situation. What WoW Classic also brought back are the talent trees and the skill levels. In the retail version of World of Warcraft, the talent tree is simplified and the skills increase in efficiency when you level up. However, in Classic WoW, the talent tree is a bit harder to understand and the talent choices you make have more consequences. If you want to reset your talents, you must pay a fee at your class trainer. It starts out low, but it can quickly get to about 50 gold or something. Also, in the Classic version of WoW, you must purchase your skills with in-game gold. You can purchase your new skills at your class trainer, which can be found in most cities or villages in World of Warcraft. An addition to this is that you can also purchase skill levels. As I've mentioned before, in the retail version of World of Warcraft, your skills will gradually increase in power when you level up. In the classic version of WoW, your skills won't change that much. You must purchase a new version of that skill to get access to a better version of that particular skill. This will also increase the mana cost of that skill. So in some situations, it might still be useful to use that older version of the skill, especially if you want to manage your mana in endgame situations. Next thing I want to discuss are the graphics. 
I can keep this very short, they are almost identical to the original vanilla version of World of Warcraft. You notice this right away when you create your first character. The faces and other features that characters have aren't as detailed in the retail version of World of Warcraft. Also, have a look at this guy. And this guy, what a beautiful face. In the options menu you can find a slider that can increase your graphics but in my opinion it doesn't change too much. By default it's set to 3 which represents the classic graphics. You can use the slider all the way up to 10 and increase the graphics settings. But like I've mentioned before, I didn't see a significant change in graphics. From here on, I want to answer some common questions that I had and I've seen across the interwebs. Since I couldn't find a clear answer at first, and I do have the answer now, I thought it would be good to put out these questions and answers in the video. The first one I've seen is about the subscription fee. The most common question about this is, do you need a subscription to play World of Warcraft Classic? Yes, you do. However, you don't need to get a different one if you already have the retail subscription of World of Warcraft. You can both play the retail version of World of Warcraft and the classic version of World of Warcraft with one subscription. For me, that is about 12 euros, which roughly translates to $15 for US players. How do you get into Classic WoW? Well, it's actually rather easy. You must download a separate client from the Battle.net launcher. You can select the classic World of Warcraft option right above the play button, install it, it's not really that big, and hop into the game. Keep in mind that you might have to wait a while before you can get started. Especially in the first couple of weeks after its release, there is most likely to be a queue before you start playing. So log in at least 30 minutes before you actually want to start playing. Another common question I have seen is about casual friendliness. Most people that have played Classic WoW when it first released are now in their late 20s or early 30s. Most of these people have jobs now and possibly are married or have kids. Therefore, these people have less time to spend on gaming. So is WoW Classic casual friendly? I think to some regard that it is casual friendly. It is something you can pick up if you have a few hours of spare time. However, I do not think that the game is for you if you only have 30 minutes to play. If you only have 30 minutes to play, then you will most likely end up spending those 30 minutes accepting quests and running to the quest objective. I highly doubt that you can get more than one quest done in that amount of time. So if you have more than one or two hours a day or in the weekend, sure, pick up Classic WoW. Otherwise, I doubt that you will get enough enjoyment out of it. If you think about this differently, please share your opinion in the comment section of this video. But now, the overarching question, should you play Classic WoW? I think that WoW Classic is a piece of gaming history. With the new updated Battle.net features which were not available in 2004, it is easier to group up with friends and play together. And I really think that this is the core of the game. A nostalgic feeling of playing together and reaching goals together. Personally, I would give it a shot. Get a subscription fee for a month and give it a try. I think the classic version of WoW will stick around for a while. I don't know if it will still be popular a few years from now, but they will most likely add a few expansions to the classic version of WoW. For example, the Burning Crusade and the Wrath of the Lich King expansion. I can't really talk about the end game. At this time, not many people have reached the maximum level of 60 yet. Getting into raids is also quite difficult since you need to complete a number of objectives at first. In the retail version, you can just group up and hop in. In the classic version, however, this is not the case. If I ever get there, I would love to share my experience with you guys. For now, I'm gonna hop back into Classic WoW and level my Torrent Druid. If you liked this video and you want to support my channel, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video. Also, don't forget to check out my other videos about World of Warcraft, The Elder Scrolls Online, and of course, Guild Wars 2. For now, I would like to thank you all so much for watching, and I hope to see you all in the next one. Peace!